Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen, to another useful and interesting Cheng Yu, our Chinese saying. Laszlo Montgomery here to present one that came straight out of the records of the grand historian, the Shi Ji. Sima Qian's magnum opus and the source of so much history from the Han Dynasty and before. Today's entry concerns something I'm sure every one of us is familiar with. Man ke luo qie. Let's see if we can guess the meaning from the four characters. Man ke luo qie. A man? It's a door or a gate. And ke means to approve, be willing to, or can, as in you can do this. And luo, aside from being a common surname, means a net for catching birds, or a sieve, or silk gauze. And a chue, it's a sparrow. And together, the literal meaning of these four characters comes to door able to catch sparrows. Doesn't mean much on its own, but after I tell you this quick story about Duke Jai of Xiaogui, you'll be in on the secret. Xiaogui is a town located 45 minutes north of the city of Weinan, and maybe an hour and a half from the capital of Shanxi province, Xi'an. He lived during the time of Han Emperor Wu, during the 2nd century BCE. And he served his country ably as the Ting Wei, which was the highest judicial office in the land. And Jai Gong, Duke Jai, he was as capable a minister as they came, and respected and admired by all who knew of him. And like it was back then, as well as 8,000 kilometers away in Rome, someone as noble as Duke Jai had a lot of clients and hangers-on who hung out with him and gathered at his residence and filled his courtyard to show their respect or air their grievances or thoughts. And So great were the numbers of people who came to his door on a daily basis those just passing by had to walk around the immense crowd of well-wishers and clients. Whoever could get close to Duke Jai would bend over backwards to be of assistance to him and curry favor and show him their deepest respect and admiration. And it was like this all the time. He was so popular and beloved of all the local people near that part of Shanxi, near the Han capital at Chang'an, and those who got face time with Jai Gong would bow and scrape before him and declare their everlasting loyalty and respect to him, declaring they would be loyal to him for all their days and their faith in him would never fade. Some even went so far as to tell the duke he was more dear to them than their own mothers and fathers and swore they would be as loyal to him as dogs and horses are to their masters. Then one day, and this was so common back in those times, and pretty much all the way through to the end of the Qing dynasty, someone, or some people, whispered to the emperor behind his back, making all kinds of false claims about Duke Jai's integrity, his job performance, and disloyalty, and even saying he was an unfair judge. Emperor Wu was swayed enough, whereby he stripped Duke Jai of all his rank and privileges and made him nothing more than a mere commoner. Boy, what could be worse than that? And practically overnight, the crowds of hundreds of people who daily came to his residence and clamored for a few minutes of his time disappeared. No one came anymore. And in fact, they all went on to find a new powerful and influential official who they could ally themselves to. After such a sudden and dramatic fall, Duke Jai was left with no one who wished to call him a friend or who would give him any face, and his courtyard, where people once stood shoulder to shoulder, was empty and eerily quiet. And so quiet, in fact, replacing all the people were hundreds of birds instead. And they made themselves at home outside the door of Duke Jai's residence. In fact, so many were all these birds if you simply hung a net in the courtyard, you could snare a whole flock of them. So you could start to see where this Cheng Yu, Man Ke Luo Qie, is sort of heading. Well, let me cut to the chase and just say that one day, Emperor Wu of Han learned he had misjudged Jai Gong, and not only did he restore him to his position of Ting Wei, but like the good Lord did to Job in the Bible, he even rewarded him to the extent that well, he had more wealth than he did before his fall. And wouldn't you know it, 
all those people who had abandoned him when he was out of favor, they all returned. And they hung out in his courtyard, outside his door, and as if nothing ever happened, they went back to the way things had been before he had suffered his temporary political downfall. They had no shame. And Jai Gong, now he was privately disgusted at all this and learned a hard lesson. So for all to see, he took his ink brush and wrote 24 large Chinese characters in verse that said, Yi Shang Yi Si, Nai Zhi Jiao Qing, Yi Pin Yi Fu, Nai Zhi Jiao Tai, Yi Gui Yi Jian, Jiao Qing Nai Jian, which translated to, Through life and death, one may know the true meanings of one's friends. Through wealth and poverty, one may know the true characters of one's friends. Through gaining and then losing my noble title, I have been shown the true intentions of my friends. And upon seeing this calligraphy prominently displayed in his courtyard, these fair-weather friends got the hint and slowly departed one by one, ashamed for being called out by Duke Jai for revealing their true character. Talk is cheap, and just saying they were loyal meant nothing. As soon as Duke Jai lost his position of power and authority, his friends abandoned him, and as soon as his good name was restored, everybody was trying to be his baby now, and they all clamored to be his friend and tell him how much he meant to them. So this one, Man Ke Luo Chue, at the Man, or door, of Duke Jai's home, you could ensnare sparrows, ke luo chue, because there were so many and no mobs of people to get in their way. Save this one for all your BFFs who don't have time for you or any fair weather friends circling your orbit, man ke luo chue. Or if you run a business and your customers swore they'd never leave you but your place is empty, man ke luo chue. Don't forget the immortal words of the 1923 Blue Standard by Jimmy Cox, made famous in our day by Mr. Eric Clapton. Nobody loves you when you're down and out. Ain't it the truth? You got that right, cowardly lion. Okay, that's going to be it. A quick one this time, but nonetheless, a chung yu with a deep and profound meaning. Stick by your friends, especially if they stood by you. Okay, that's your Chinese saying for this time. Thanks to Emma in the Chengyu Yanqiu Zhongxin, working behind the scenes. This is Laszlo Montgomery signing off from Los Angeles, California, IA, imploring you to come back next time for another educational and informative episode of the Chinese Sayings Podcast. <laughs>